Oh fuck! That scared me. <laughs> my straw got stuck to my shirt, I think. <sighs> Hi. This is going to be a general reading, a general daily reading for Friday the 31st of May. And damn, as you can see, it's chaotic already. Whew, okay, let's just get right into it. Uh, um, 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 um. Remember, general means that it could be for anyone as long as it resonates with you, okay? <sighs> Friday, the 31st. They are, oh my fucking God. Well, I guess we're just going to jump right into it. <coughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. I mean, what else do we have to say? The Ten of Fucking Cups is your first card. Bye. Done. Ten of Fucking Cups. Happily Ever After, Emotional Bliss, Fairy Tale. What else can you say? I just saw like a doorway crack open. So this is just starting. And it's what this is exactly how I see it in my head. It's an enclosed room, but it's all dark because there's no light coming in. And then the door cracks open and the light starts coming in. That's what I'm seeing in my head. So this is going to resonate somehow, some way with you guys, okay? The light's coming in. I don't know if that's you or the other person, but the light's coming in. So it was a dark space. Oh my God, look at this. You got the lovers, Gemini, Gemini season, right? We also have the page of wands. Communication coming in because pages are communication, right? But wands are also action and like spark and like movement and shit like that, right? So communication of something possibly from a twin. I know I do this, right? Because you guys know how I feel about the twin thing. I don't buy into all of the hype around it like I used to when I first stumbled upon twin things back in the day. Just because, you know, now that I channel and I tap in directly to source energy, a lot of things just don't resonate with me of like when you Google top 10 signs of a twin flame. It's so generic. Um, and I think that the more we awaken, the more we start to go, oh, it's what happens when we awaken, right? People always say, what does it mean to be woke? What it means to be woke is that we are awoke to the truth. It's like you start to see things for what they really are. Now, for some of you, if you are not a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or fucking with a, a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, this is also, for some of you, a decision in love. Because a lover's is a decision. But for some of you, it could also be communication from someone who, either number one, you used to think was your twin, or number two, think it is your twin. Now, is it really a twin? I don't know. Because do we really only have one twin? I don't think so. I don't think so. But what I do believe is that this person is someone that you've had many past lives with. Could have had some type of vow with them in past lives. Whether that means you were married to them. Or this means that you had a vow of protection. You know what I'm saying? Like a vow to protect each other or a vow to do a certain mission together. You also have on the bottom of the deck the page of swords. Spying, watching strength is leo fuck i almost knocked over my drink again i'm sorry um extreme amount of strength that's not what i see though i don't see oh it's a leo oh it's strength i see the castle on the hill See that? St. Michael's Mount is what many people believe that that could be. Because it looks just like it. If you Google St. Michael's Mount in the UK. I'm so bummed out that we had to cancel our UK meet and greet and tour, vacation tour this summer. Um, but we will be back soon. You guys know I have to delay that because my grandma's sick. 
there's something with this castle on the hill and how that's going to be relevant to you guys fuck i don't know you guys see what i finally got my hands on Ten of Swords, the worst is over. What do I keep hearing in my head? Uphill battle, uphill battle, uphill battle. Someone either says, I can't even speak. Someone either says this a lot or someone says this to someone else. It's something with this uphill battle. It's an uphill battle. It's an uphill battle. Or somebody run uphill or you walk uphill or shit. I don't know. But I keep constantly hearing it's an uphill battle. It's an uphill battle. It's an uphill battle. Constantly. It's just I keep hearing it every time I, I look at the Ten of Swords with the with the Strength card. Uphill battle. And it's so weird too because, you know, a castle on the hill is up and it's uphill. Something about this. There must be some kind of reference to somebody about it. I know what that means to me. Like several times they've showed me the castle on the hill thing and I go, oh, okay. And it's changed a couple times. But for me, I know what the personal meaning for me is. And it's not, it's not the song by Ed Sheeran, you know. For some of you it could be, but for me it's not. Now the seven of pentacles here is time and investment went into something here. Gosh, you want to know what the fuck I think? I don't know, some of you may not like it. Some of you, this was someone that you thought was your twin flame that you invested time into. And the Ten of Swords, it was betrayal, it was just fuckery or whatever it was. It was, you know, not panning out. Shit, I don't know, it was an uphill battle the whole time. I don't know. Uh, some of them could communicate with you. <laughs> Scorpio death. <laughs> Transformation. Yep, told you. Some of them could be communicating with you. Some of you, you don't even, you didn't even think it was a possible twin. That's what I heard, just heard. Oh, the plot twist. Now this ain't saying, that, oh, it's gonna be somebody you marry. So don't, don't nobody put no stock and go and buy your fucking wedding dress and deposit at the wedding venue, okay? We're not putting deposits down on dresses and shit. We're not scheduling appointments at motherfucking David's bridal. But what we're saying is that this is this could be wrap-ups. You see what I'm saying? Like closure might be needed here with a person that could have been your twin, you thought was your twin. I don't know, but that's just what it feels like. It has this feeling of... I thought it was, or could it be? It's like this, I'm not sure, I don't know energy around a twin flamey thing. Seven of Pentacles, and it also means that we've, you've invested time into this already too. It's almost like with the sword too, Ace of Swords is like truth and it's clarity. So for those of you that didn't know what this connection was, it's like poof, all of a sudden you get clarity. That could also be what that crack in the door was that I saw in the beginning where I'm in a dark room and I'm confused and I'm lost and I don't know, I have no idea, and then the door opens and then I start to see things for what they are. So many of you are gonna start to have truth and clarity, <clears throat> truth and clarity around situations involving possible love. And it's almost like the 10 of cups was sitting there all along that's what that's how they're making me feel like the ten of cups it's not like oh you find the ten of cups it's been there all along because it's the feeling of having it all not oh i only have it all when someone's with me i only have it all when i have money i only have it all when this nine of wands and the eight of cups oh, they're gonna come in it's someone that you definitely walked away from because they're not emotionally fulfilling guarantee watch it's gonna be uh, I've had this happen to me the past several weeks. Like, they just keep coming back from the past. I don't know what to do. It's like wrap-ups. I swear to you. It's like they just keep coming back from the past. And I'm like, another one. Honey, I'm all motherfucking DJ Khalid up in here. Another one. And they just keep coming back. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? It's like, maybe they feel it because I'm getting closer to my real counterpart. Maybe they feel it. They just feel like this wrap-up. Like, they need to wrap things up. I don't know. But I'm, I'm telling you, they're coming back from the past. And this is because we did this to them. And now that they're knocking on the door, we're going like this. Uh, what? So funny, too, because a lot of them, it's like this energy where we're just like, oh, hell no, not today, Satan. Knock, knock, let the devil in. No. So for some of you guys, you're going to have to use extreme discernment. Just because someone knocks doesn't mean you need to open the door and let them in. This is ABC123s, right? 
We know this. You knock, that don't mean I'm going to automatically let you in this house. I'm not going to automatically open the door. You have to, you're going to earn your right to be able to communicate or come in or spend time or whatever it is. So, yeah, and this is crazy. I feel like we're going through all of this stuff right now. The clarity, seeing people for who they are, what they are, what the relationship was. It was a lesson. It was this. It's a counterpart. It's not. I think it's because we're getting ready for the actual counterpart. And it's almost like, you know what's so funny is it's like when you're watching a play and at the end of the play, the actors all come out on stage and then they start to introduce each person. Why do I feel like that's what this, they're showing me that in my head. It's like so-and-so playing the part of da-da-da. And you have so-and-so over here playing the part of da-da-da, la-di-da. Uh, blah 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 over here and Jane Smith and whoever the fuck it is. It's almost like the cast is revealed what The fuck Remember we had decoys and you know, we had all of the, those kinds of energies in the past, you know Four of cups see in the past. They didn't want shit from you. It was unrequited They may be coming in now trying to offer you some shit put it this way And this is not just only twin flame shit. Okay. This is just in karmic situations, too the chaser becomes the runner. The runner becomes a chaser. The tables are turned in essence. And for some, it very well might be the tables are turned because it's the karmic lesson for the tables to be turned. You know what I'm saying? To feel it, to feel what it feel like. Put the shoe on the other motherfucking foot. Five of cups, mm-hmm, see this? Past. They're thinking about what they lost. For some of you, this emperor energy, okay, whether it's your counterpart or it's not, it's gonna be so different for everybody. So if you gotta stretch it like a rubber band to make it fit, it's not for you. Or number two, if it ain't for you, it ain't for you, don't ruin it for everybody else, okay? Period. Um, this could be a person that you've had in your past that may not have treated you so well or could not have seen your value in the past, right? That this is what it is. They didn't see it. They had this in front of them, that, this right here, right? The two of cups right there in front of them. Well, maybe not in front of them, but there. But they didn't see it because of this. So this to me feels like didn't see the worth in something, whether this is love or work related, okay? Doesn't matter. I didn't see the worth in something then. Why? Because if they weren't emperor then, which I doubt, it would have been a low vibrational person who is, put it this way, I can only see what I am. I only resonate with what I am. So if I don't see the worth in me, and if I'm low vibrational, I'm not gonna see the good in you that's high vibrational and you have all this value. Do you see what I'm saying? So for some of them, they may be seeing the value in you now because now they see the value in themselves because they've gone through a rebirth or a transformation or whatever the fuck it is. And we keep talking about this. It's okay if they've gone through, through a rebirth or a transformation. We're, we've all done it. I've done it. So how come they're not allowed to do it? Oh, fuck them. They can't fucking come. That shows where you are vibrating at. As someone from my past comes to me now. I have to first of all see if I'm feeling you. Because if I'm not feeling you, it's an automatic no. Knock, knock, let the devil in, no. If I'm feeling you, I gotta feel you out now. Are you high vibed? Are you pretending? Do you have a mask on your face? Are you a fuck boy? Are you a doodle boy? You see what I'm saying? And then we're gonna go from there. You also have the 10 of fucking pentacles fly out on the 10 of cups. Two. Tens, very symbolic though, right? Because the Ten of Pentacles is financial abundance and success. It's a committed relationship. It's solid. Some of you might have people coming back from the past. This is the fucking summary of this. What's the summary? What's the fucking summary? The summary is some of you could be having some people come back from the past, and we have been, where they may want something solid now. Whether they can truly offer it, it's one thing. Whether they truly deserve it is another. All of these different details are going to be different for everybody right so the gist is though they're coming back it's not only one person in the race right Let's talk about this there's a few contenders in the race oh my god the bottom of the deck the six of cups i told you they're coming back <laughs> You follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, and I go live. You, and I'm going to go live after this too. Um, it's going to get very interesting very soon. 
because it's like they're all in a race. I told you guys, I could feel it from like last year that when the real counterpart would start to come in, they kind of all would come in and circle around and go, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, fuck that, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. May the best man or woman win. The person who deserves you will have you in the end. Put it that way, right? So what if someone wants you that's low vibrational? Doesn't mean you have to take them, doesn't mean you have to entertain them, but it's obviously if you are of high caliber and quality, everybody gonna want you, duh. <laughs> Stop fucking complaining about it. <laughs> Sit on your motherfucking throne. <laughs> Let them kiss your hand, shit. Wave to the motherfuckers. Hello, how you doing? Shit. All right. If you guys want to book a reading with me, click on the box below. Okay. All of my information is there. Now, um, I talked about the bracelet things. The new one that's going to be coming out soon is going to be the evil eye one, right? But then I'm also going to put up for sale very soon more prophecy bracelets. Okay. The super seven ones. Uh, I don't know why, but I feel like it's got to get done. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Love you. Bye.